shout out to my man. Are these called God Godzies or Bullseyes? Whoa, my God, he's gonna fucking. They're called Gun Bullseyes. <laughs> That sounds like a circus clown. <laughs> the great gun Bunzuli will jump through this flaming ring on fire! Yeah. And will you see the day that he becomes the best circus tier ever? And then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did. We said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. The circus is such a weird The thing. great like, clown bambino! I kind of really wish they'd like bring back like the circus. Like nothing's better than a good old <laughs> cotton candy scary clown man at the circus. And like they used to like Just go to downtown LA, it's the same thing. <laughs> they used to abuse all the animals. Like it was really scary back then. <laughs> oh my god. That's like kind of like what I just said was kind of a joke, but it's like fifty percent true. No, I know, which is kind of terrifying. But Chris, the type of guy to like do the tightrope and hold the beam. No, I could be the the circus announcer. Okay, Christopher Cerniolo's take. Oh, I was gonna say something that was gonna sound like sexual innuendo, so I'm stopping myself. Say it. <laughs> no, because it was just like. Say it. No. Nope. Say it. No. Announcer. Matt would be the goofy dude that like does a trick and lands or something, and then like does like. Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like a loud bang. Yeah. And like makes everyone I'd be the person in the crowd right. just is throwing popcorn. Like they're like, wow! No, like Nick's, the whole Nick would be the popcorn seller. No, Nick would be the, the, the guy feeding the elephant peanuts. Have like, you seen that Nick. guy? Oh my god, this is a viral <laughs> clip on TikTok. This guy goes, it's like dead silent, like an arena, and he goes, <laughs> oh, he screams, hot dog! Dogs! Get your hot dogs. Get your hot dogs here. Like, he goes, like that's how he does it. <laughs> that was insane. It was true. <laughs> I think that was the loudest you've ever screamed. Ah, in the video. Ah, ah, ah. Chris, I love, your, I love your let's <laughs> trip merch. Oh, Thank you. I wore my cut off again today. Oh, you're strong. Okay, anyways. First, mm -hmm. I have a thought that I've been dying to say out loud. I really want to make good let's trip merch soon. Yo, if I wasn't who I... circus tea. If, <gasps> shh. If I wasn't who I was... Ferris wheel or something. If I wasn't who I was, I'd think Febreze is a magical <laughs> word. I was taking a shit today and I looked <laughs> up and I saw Febreze. And I'm like, if I was not who I was, like if I was a little kid, like you know how you can make little kids believe anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I watched Harry Potter and someone was like, oh, I can't wait for like, the Febreze scene. <laughs> and like I have no prior knowledge of Febreze, I'm like, oh, they're gonna fucking. Febreze that bitch, you know what I mean? They're gonna Febreze it up, and like, it's such a perfect word it for like. They're gonna yeah. Febreze it up. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't sound like a fucking. If I had a magic wand, I'm like, Febreze! <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? The air's gonna smell better, and that motherfucker's gonna stop in his tracks. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's closer to freeze, and that's why you think that. Febreze. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Would Febreze be an action or a person? Definitely an action. Correct. Well, I feel like there could be the great Febreze. I completely disagree. No. How? I feel like there could be a person named Febreze. Like the Fez, like the first name, and the Breeze is like the last name. Don't say that. Like it's Febreze. Why? Just embarrassing. The great Febreze. Yeah. Oh my Febreze god. Is a great I've word. been dying to tell you guys this. I saw a video on my For You page the other day, and this woman was at an airport, like freaking the fuck out, and she spat on a police officer. <laughs> oh my and god. And I genuinely, I saw that, and want to know what my one takeaway was? I'd kill her. No. What? Don't I say I think that. if someone spat If on... someone spit No, on I was me, about I to say, shut up! I have a thought. Murder them. No! Shh. I literally thought, my first thought was, if I ever got spat, <laughs> spat on, I'd end up in jail. Oh I'd me. be <laughs> imprisoned in 30 seconds. No, for <laughs> real. 100%. If I got spat on, I'd handcuff myself and walk to the prison. I agree. Because, oh my god. I would spit back at them and then beat the fuck out of them. Oh my god. I, it's like genuinely, it makes my toes itch and my fucking No, getting hurt. spit on like, is the most disrespectful thing in the world. Oh, right if in your I face. think that if I got spat on, I'd oh knock someone out faster than fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> In the fucking 90s. I'd knock <laughs> Did someone out. Did he even out. fight in the 90s? I, I have no idea. I'd knock someone out faster than the bubonic plague. <laughs> Bro, I'd 
Oh my god! It it would be like that person's biggest fear would then be what they had just done to me. Yeah. Give me a go great Gabonzo, please. Can you stop? Okay, let's talk about it because it's a thing. Yeah. People throwing shit on people at people on a stage. Ah, uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. I guess the dumbest fucking. It thing happened in the to BB Rexa, and then it happened to like four more people back to back to back. Mm hmm. I think most people, other than the the guy who threw something at BB Rexa, literally said he thought it would be funny. But most of the time, people throw shit with like a, a good intent. I would disagree. Want, no, no, because they want like they wanted to like oh like a stuffed animal or flowers or something. You know what I mean? If they're throwing something with weight to it. No, if you're hucking something that doesn't belong on a stage at someone on a stage, you need to be imprisoned. If what well, I hate what when people oh actually I, I just remember what I was gonna say if you had to pick one option of item like can I have could, a gabonzo you could only have anything that could fit in your hand. What okay. item would you pick to throw in the crowd if you had to hurt people? I'm not saying, like, you know, <laughs> obviously we don't promote violence and so we don't want to do that. It's a in terrible this, thought. In this hypothetical question, if there was a large crowd of people and you had to injure as many as you can, what okay, would you Okay, let's throw? rephrase the comment and say, Something there new. was a herd of zombies. No, no, no. Herd of people. Like, <laughs> no, actual Chris. herd of just... D okay, fine. Every <laughs> thank, you, was, thank you for no. accommodating. Well, no, I'm about to switch it up. A group of rude, mean people. A group no. of people that are uh -oh. just bad Who's people. Who's this? <laughs> a group of bad people, uh -huh. all right? And you'd put them in a fucking just a large crowd, and you can throw only one handful of things. What would you throw? So I have two options in my a head. A handful of things? Is that like the... it you have to pick something. What's your ideal weapon of eight choice? Eight pound bowling ball, that's all. Bad, One? bad, 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 bad pick. <laughs> really know. bad pick. You're hitting one person, doing a lot of damage, and it's bad. You wanna <laughs> it's like you the whole point is injure as many as you can. Nails. A that's a better nails. option. That's a better option. What about you? I was gonna say nails. I was well. gonna say as many rolls of quarters that could fit. Oh in my, my god! And just <laughs> a sack shuck of them. coins. Yeah, a sack of coins would be. No, good. I think even thumb <laughs> a sack of coins. The, all the thumb thumb tacks. Tacks is while they all run, they'd be stepping. Or on golf them. balls. Okay, one what I hate more than anything, like probably top mm, ten biggest pet peeves. Um, That's a lie. It's not top ten at all, but really bothers me. Go ahead. When people. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> when people go into other people's space and create a mess and don't clean up after themselves. Kind of like how you come in the car and leave your cup in there. I was about to say, I was about to say the car's the worst. If you're, uh, if you're, no, I, I'm not, if you're this. a mess leaver in the car. No, this isn't even my goal. I know this way even, too many people that this, come in, this this isn't come even in my, the car. This is not my thought. Shit. Okay, this go. This is not my thought. My thought is like. Oh, sleepover at Jimmy Joe's house. Oh, uh, classic. Everyone Jimmy come Joe. over and like, you know, like be a hooligan and make a mess at Jimmy yeah. Joe's house. Like, and then so people, now Jimmy no, Joe's no, no, mom. Like, like, oh, let's watch a movie, and everyone gets in Jimmy Joe's bed. Like, drink a soda. You have ice cream. You eat your things. You know. And then when you're like, oh, my mom's here, and you leave your bowl, your dirty spoon. <laughs> yeah, your, it's ridiculous. Your, <laughs> fucking kernels of popcorn, Ugh. unpopped kernels littering the floor. <laughs> Your wrappers for the candies you individually ate. Like nothing's worse than like the motherfuckers <laughs> be like Starburst and like they they unwrap each one and leave a fucking <laughs> confetti show of Starburst wrappers everywhere. Yeah. Like you are the worst person ever. Pick up after yourself. And then leave. We learned this in kindergarten. Barney said, "Clean up, clean <laughs> up, everybody everywhere." That was Barney. Yeah. Bro, put on fucking ultra. Okay, pet peeve. Wanna know what I hate? No. Why? Let's talk about love. No. Cup noodles, unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had cup noodles in my life. Do you know one time, funny story? What did I show you that I didn't have the other day? And you yelled at me. <laughs> because you probably didn't. No, I said, I don't think I've ever had that. And you were like, shut up! And then I was like, whoa! And then you got Chris and made it a whole deal. I can't remember. Cup noodles are b unbelievable. I've never had cup I noodles. I had a fucking thought and I can't remember it. Fun time story. One time in high school. Fun time story. <laughs> one time in high school I went and got a cup of noodles and the convenience store let me fill it up. And it was the most ridiculous hot water I've ever fucking held in my life. And I filled it too high to like the brim. So when I was walking into school and I was like <gasps> kind of like, you know, kind of like 
you spill a little and it goes down the side mm -hmm. and it like dripped down my thumb and my fingers and it literally burned it so bad that I like threw the cup noodles in the street. Crazy, and I just chuck them in the road. Fun, no, Remember when that girl set a firework off in her car on the outside of our school? Shout out Hyper Freeze from Cumberland Farms. Who the Farms. fuck is Hyper Freeze? <laughs> from, from Cumberland Farms. I'm like, is this the fucking Other Dimensions version of Frozone? Fabrice. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Fabrice. No. Okay. I'm going to my pet peeve. Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, I don't have many pet peeves. Oh my fuck. No, I was just thinking, I was like, wait. I, I can't, I'm really over the corny me. shit. I hate how many different versions of like oranges there are in apples. Let's what? dial it down. Ooh, grapefruit looks so similar. It's not even in the family. Well, they all taste different. It's all malarkey to me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if someone were to <laughs> I like say... The, I like the usage of that Thank one. You. If someone were to say, like, oh, they're so close, just group them together, like, that's us. Like, you just kind of disrespected okay, us. Okay, what's the difference between a clementine and a mandarin? Fucking figure it out. What's the difference between you and Matt? I could ask the same fucking what's question. What's a mandarin, though? Isn't that a language? Ch Chinese. Yeah, so what why are you thinking? I'm thinking I almost said Chinese. Like, why did I say Chinese? What's the fruit? Mandarin. It's doubles, bro. Same with oh. a bat and the bat. Like, no, I just thought I was wrong. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Sometimes okay. I want to I can't believe my fucking thought just Sometimes flew I away in the wind and I can't uh, remember an, it. Like, what's, what would be your ideal fruit or vegetable to squeeze? I don't think of this ever. Like, if I had a grapefruit, I just, like, use uh. both hands and just, like... Pounded down the grapefruit to its pulp. That'd be a fun one to squeeze. <laughs> oh my God! Stop, Chris. <laughs> what would be your ideal fruit to squeeze? I have I don't nothing. Know. Like a handful of fucking blueberries. I don't know. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Do you remember the book about blueberries when we were little and like the little bear went to go eat the blueberries? Yes. Corduroy. What was that called? No. <laughs> yeah, that was That's about a different. That bear. was about the little bear in overalls. I'm talking he had about a little button bear missing. Like, correct. Didn't he fill it with blueberries? No. <laughs> All right, champion. Cause the duck walked up to the lemonade. What the fuck am I singing? Why did you're I the know? champion? <laughs> what am I? What are you? I thought I was wearing a champion shirt. Oh! <laughs> Where's this person? Oh, next to us is crazy. Get the fuck out of here. What well, I'm really tired of. Everyone. Plaited jackets with a plaid on the inside and not the outside. No. Hate them. I'm tired of them. <laughs> I don't actually have any feelings toward that. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know. It's like, why put okay, this no, final last one. pattern on the inside <laughs> and the outside? Super, yeah, it's the last one. Like, why would you put the most super fun pattern on the inside of something? Because that's what it's all about. Unless it's yeah. on the edges. Doesn't I really... think it's more sentimental and it really preaches about like getting to know somebody. Beyond oh, the outside. Okay, the once show. they take the jacket off. It's not about the cool pattern that's on the inside. It's about how they portray the outside. Wait, no, I just said that wrong. Dude, Dude I'm still what's trying the to worst? figure out what it was oh! that I didn't eat ever. Like, before, like, what, what would be your go-to celebration if you won something nice? What, you know? No. But you're, you saying that, remind me, I didn't eat today. You had yeah, you pizza. Did, did pizza. Oh, I did have pizza. Okay, I'm good. What would Nick, what would your <laughs> celebration be? I don't celebrate. I hate selling. I hate like, like out of body like reactions. Like I know that, like I hate. Oh, can I tell you what I hate? I hate when I say I hate something in a car video, and then like I do it, and people are like, "Ah, oh, look at he's like betraying his word or not." Betraying yeah, because like, I can say I hate like, taking like, a shit every single. Day. I still got it. Yeah, no, it. but like I said, there was a clip. It was like I said I hated Disneyland. Jobs not I finished. Went. I said I hated Disneyland, and then I went and Whatever I had fun. But it's like in that moment of time, you, you I hated catch you Disneyland. Like, do you know how many times they caught me about that? Stripes. Like fucking. Well, no, because it's, it's, it all comes down to do like how. Nowadays. Shut up. It all comes down to how how it's like happening. Like when I'm saying, oh, I hate Disneyland, I'm imagining going with Matt and Chris and like four other people and like having this big entourage crowd walking through Disneyland and then it being a million fucking degrees and hour long waits at every single ride and then every single fucking snack You're stand. You're picturing the worst of everything. Yes. Like that's what I hate. Would about you rather Disneyland. wait at the snack stand or for the ride? Well, it's like I'm speaking. Shut up. So that is when it puts into perspective for me. Stand. That's when it puts in perspective for me. Like, oh, I'll say I hate Disneyland, and then down the line, if I have a good day at Disneyland, it's like, who cares what I said a year ago at 2 a.m. 
in a parking lot. The internet will haunt forever. Ooh, like a ghost. Yep. The internet is permanent. (laughs) Say I hate ripe apples from a great apple tree. (laughs) One day if we went apple picking, spare me. That was a little poem. (laughs) (laughs) And what did it mean? It's called Apple Tree Spare Me. By Chris Terniola. I like it. Thank you. I, I sit just, with that. I just I sit with it. that. <laughs> <laughs> apple tree spare me? Yeah. If I said I hate a good tree strong apple me. tree, then one year when apple picking. You should give you should spare give it, me. I mean, once you make the okay. poem, like you should print it out and give them out for free. <laughs> you guys are I stupid. love that idea. And use paper from a big old tree. You know what I like? Big that building's all line. blue, but there's a red door. I hate when poems repeat something, and you're supposed to say it a little different. So give me anything in the world. Cone. Say cone? Traffic cone. Traffic cone. Traffic cone. Traffic cone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys yeah, talking like, you're about? Just like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, poems repeat something. Like, okay, you've sure. heard it. We can't, we can't back down. We can't, we can't back down. Woohoo! We Yahoo! Can't, it's a little dark. Can't but. back down. Can I? Hot down. take. Really hot take. Extremely hot take, actually. Cool Ranch is the best Dorito. No. That's true, but keep going. Well, this isn't the hot. That's yeah, just shut up! I was saying this is a true fact. I thought you were asking us for our hot take. Whatever y'all are done. Slider Why mini vans. Oh, extremely hot take to you. Let Matt that talk. makes no sense. Let Matt speak. Slider mini van. Go. <laughs> extremely hot take. You ready? Some soundtracks. How hot. Spicy. Some soundtrack albums and like <laughs> some soundtrack albums and albums <laughs> for like Disney movies and shit are harder than some projects that people have put out. I disagree completely. There's not one movie soundtrack I could ever hit shuffle play on. Ever. In the world of the world. Lemonade Mouth. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't thinking of it like that. Yeah. Because that's a show where there's songs incorporated. I was thinking for like... Normally I couldn't turn your head. That's why I had to write this instead. Let's Let's be be friends. friends. Start out slow. Get Get to know you beyond your glow. Would you rather show you a that meets to eye? Girl, Girl you're terrible. fly. Can I tell you guys a crazy fact? You hate rap music. Can I tell you guys a crazy fact? Let me tell you guys a crazy fact! The other day when we were at Cumberland Farms, how many <gasps> days ago was that? When we were at the one in... Uh, three days ago? Chris? Yeah. How many days ago was that? I don't fucking know. I peed in a cup, and that cup is still in the car. You're disgusting. That is so gross. Is that not gross. crazy? That's I did empty it out, but there... It's here. Okay, cool. Is that not disgusting? Don't That's say that. Nasty. Why didn't I fucking throw that out? That's Why disgusting. Why did you just, you just hold the internet? Well, because I thought it'd be funny. It's funny. I feel like more bushes that are local, like, when you walk around, you should have just berries on them. Like, how fun <laughs> would, like, your walk be? I feel poisonous. like that would lead to so many problems. <laughs> no, I agree. Little kids with dirt on their face. No. Little kids with allergies. Little no. kids eating berries. No, like, no, no, no. Like no. the tree right outside your house is an apple tree. You just walk outside. Oh, here's my breakfast. I'm not I feel like people who do... Hold on, I do have to say this, though. I feel like people who do have, like, plants out You still gotta wash berries, it. You're still supposed to. I feel like people who do have plants outside their homes, like, with <laughs> berries in it and such, like, they treat it better than they do their firstborn child. Like, yeah, their kid no, could be real. talking to a stranger on the side of their road, but but the stranger could come over and grab a raspberry, and then they hang up, like, a whole fence, and, like, a sign that's like, These berries Don't touch my berries! Berries. These berries are for everyone. I grew these. They take eight months. Like, oh, my God, shut okay, the Mr. fuck Barry. up. Might as well call you Jam. You're so Like, weird. I just hate it. Here's my thing, right? Oh, you're supposed to clean fruit and all this jazz, right? Natural. Animals eat it right off the well, fucking animals, bush. Yeah, but animals also eat, like, raw meat. Like, a bear rips a I'm salmon. I'm talking about... Have you seen that video on TikTok? It's the bear and he takes the salmon out of the river. Do you know I'm gonna have, he, like, a fucking sh- mark on my arm? I, see, I saw it. He takes the salmon out of the river. And just skins and goes, it with its mouth. He skins it and it's still moving and the fish is like... <gasps> Yeah. Oh! I think it's funny as shit, dude. I can't lie. Oh, I love bears. We That's can't, cool. We can't. Pass. No, but I'm saying, imagine how much more. Bear with me. <laughs> imagine how much better life would be if you could just go on a stroll and eat some berries. Just bring just them. Just buy with you. some. 
No, I'm talking about just like more than that. Like, Chris, but you're not supposed to hog them all. Like, Chris, you can't go you be a bush like, hogger. You gotta like leave uh, something. Like yeah, you can't be a bush hogger. You have to like go and hop bush to bush and take like a little berry as you go. <laughs> like, okay. yeah. One berry per bush. What about honeysuckles? I think those are a goddamn scam. I think you're a scam. Nick, you look like the type favorite of guy fruit. to like thaw out food. What's your before favorite you fruit? Cook it. What's your favorite fruit? Like, um, hey, first of all, I don't cook. Fruit. Second of all, that's literally what ninety percent of people who cook do. Thawing's ridiculous. I just put it in the oven to warm up. Imagine thawing something out before no wonder you've yet to you just cook a good meal. Get it nice and hot. If you don't let Matthew Cerniolo talk right now, I'm gonna literally cut Go your ahead, hair Matt. off. No, it's fine. I'm good. I'm really wondering. I'm tired of what the fucking corny shit. If you were, if your life was a big hockey game you left your shin pads at the house could you really perform your best ability no dude i can't get with you it's like who's gonna go to a basketball court and not bring the air pump i mean the basketball <laughs> <laughs> like dude okay <clears throat> i feel like happy friday everyone that has been this week's video i love you all so dearly and we will see you soon Subscribe. Make sure that you look down there and you smash that darn <laughs> subscribe button. And if you don't, if you don't, I'm throwing Nick in a river with 85 alligators and he's got to jump out of them and then tackle all the oh damn no, gators wait. down to the ground. And then as he's fighting the gators, I'm going to throw a crocodile on his head. And then he's going to be fighting all these gators, one crocodile, and one jillion gators. <laughs> and then he's got to beat all the gators in the gator fight showdown of the lifetime event. He's got to say... Can I actually share a thought? I almost, gator there, gator here, <laughs> gator everywhere. I almost added this gator thought right because I thought of it. Gator raid. But shut up, shut up. I genuinely think that like, what are those scenarios that happen in movies that like you think, oh, I could easily handle that? And I think an alligator trying to bite me, I'd kick that fucker in the <laughs> snout. It'd be done for. Kick him in the face. Like, like I think I Let see people.